Now to the country of Colombia, which has been ravaged as a result of a failed peace accord, which has not been adhered to. Dan Cohen, redacted correspondent, is in Colombia. He's going to be filing a number of stories for us. If you've been missing him from our airwaves over the past week, this is where Dan is. He's in a coca field right now. Dan, uh, what are you doing there? Can you give us a little hint and, 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 and uh, show us a little bit of behind the scenes of what you're working on as you cover what's happening in this country? It's just awful. Yeah, Clayton, good to be with you. I am in rural Cauca, Colombia, in the, the southwest of the country, in an area called Argelia, which uh, for years has been ridden by, by armed conflict. Now, uh, this area uh, was, uh, until 2016, under the control of the um, uh, armed left-wing group called the, the FARC, the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, which battled for roughly 50 years uh, until the 2016 peace accord to have a revolution. In 2016, this peace accord was signed between the government of then President Juan Manuel Santos and uh, the FARC um, after years of, of brutal war um, with the United States supporting uh, the, the Colombian government. Um, and so this area in 2016 should have seen peace and prosperity come but uh, it form from um, a hotbed of, of armed conflict uh, and coca production um, into, uh, uh, into prosperity and, and peace, as I said. And so um, what you see all, all around me, these are all coca plants. These are, this is coca leaf. This is what eventually becomes uh, the cocaine that people in the United States and Europe and Asia produce. And it is really made from the suffering and sweat of people who have no choice but to what they do is scrape these leaves off of the plants with their bare hands. It's just brutal, hard work. Uh, what many people describe to me as a form of slavery, in fact. Um, and then they take these and they, they spend several hours out here every day of the week, scraping the leaves off of the plants, filling the bags, selling them uh, to, to small laboratories, they're very basic, where they then process the coca leaves, um, turn them into uh, a paste, which then goes to a type of laboratory they call a kitchen, and that becomes the cocaine that, that people uh, consume. Now, all of that is supposed to change the 2016 peace accord, but the government, successive Colombian governments, first of Juan Manuel Santos, then of Ivan Duque, and now of Gustavo Petro, um, with different political agendas, there's a similarity in that none of them have abided by the uh, uh, what the government was supposed to do. So the 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 FARC, the armed groups, laid down their arms. The, the vast majority of them said, oh, "We're going to lay down our arms and reintegrate." And the government very little to hold up their end, which is, okay, we're going to come in, develop the economy in those, those areas, um, have alternatives to coca production, have uh, bananas, mangoes, all kinds of beautiful fruits that I'd never eaten until I came here, and that would be sold on the national and international market. So what's happened has not been fulfilled. Those promises have not been upheld, um, and instead people are forced to continue scraping leaves to survive. And what's, what's hit them the hardest is the inflation crisis that we've all suffered. Here, the, the raspachines, which is what they call them, the leaf scrapers, they used to make uh, about $25, $30 a day spending the whole day scraping leaves. Now they make about 15 And so what that means is they can't buy milk or meat or uh, basic necessities uh, to feed their families. So it's a really difficult, brutal situation. And I'll have a number of reports um, coming out in the next uh, uh, in, in, upcoming uh, about about the situation here in uh, Cauca, Colombia. Yeah, and we should point out, of course, that this is all a man-made. This is a man-made inflation crisis, right? With the sanctions against Russia, with what they did during lockdowns for lockdown uh, lockdown economies. This, of course, as we've been pointing out on the show for years, has hurt small in you know, a poor poor countries the most the they these are the countries that we're going to hit get, you know going to get hit hardest and you're seeing it right there in the flesh with these poor farmers exactly 100 percent. there's uh uh 
100% a man-made crisis uh, between between the inflation, the the unfulfillment of these accords that are completely political decision. The, the basically political will for 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 some parties, it's total for the previous government in Colombia. It was total opposition to the peace accord, um, and for the current government, there it's it's hard to say why exactly. If it's lack of political will or or um, uh, kind of uh, fighting between the the president and the uh, and the Congress, which is more right wing, and um, but in the end, it's the people who suffer here in Argelia, Cauca. Dan Cohen in Colombia for us, and he's going to be filing a number of really interesting reports and interviews with people who are on the front lines fighting in this brutal guerrilla war. Um, we're going to be talking about that as well on the show. So, Dan, thank you for filing this report and joining us with uh, some barely uh, barely available uh, Wi-Fi and, and cell connection when we could get it. So we appreciate it. Thank you, Dan. Thanks a lot. And only thanks to one of the leaf scrapers who actually... Uh, shared uh, he, he made a, a hot spot so I could so I could record this this interview well amazing well thank you please give our thanks to him for for providing that um, unbelievable thank you Dan thanks a lot Clayton Thank you so much for watching this segment here at Redacted. We are live every day at 4 p.m. Eastern time trying to share the stories that the mainstream media will not cover. You should also come over and join our community of Redacted Rebels over at redacted.inc. That's our private locals community where we can share exclusive content that we simply cannot share here on YouTube. Come over and join the rebellion together right now by going to redacted.inc. We'll see you next time.